amazing, beautiful people, and welcome back to another Wanna K Rock, aka One O'Clock Reaction video. This song has been heavily requested and recommended from all of you in the comment section down below. So if you have a recommendation and you'd love me to react to it, all you need to do, put it down below in that comment section. But for now, I'm gonna stop talking. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well, and let's jump into my first time ever reaction to One O'K Rock live on the 2023 Luxury Disease Tour performing Let Me Let You Go. Next one is called Let Me Let You Go. Into the dark, she lived in my hands, it's adding hard. We would never gotta go far. Cause I'm no good at loving someone as good as you. The bass and the drum on this opening is like an instant mood setter. Like, it's telling you already, just that bass and that drumming alone is telling you this song, this song is gonna be a feel-good vibe. Maybe I was wrong. The lyrics are maximally suggesting otherwise. Look at Takamoo! <laughs> Look at the moon! I'm so confused. I am like, I don't understand. <laughs> the song itself. Like the beat and the instrumental and like the vibe and the energy, even Taka's vocals are kind of uplifting, right? And positive and warming and energetic. But the lyrics, the lyrics are so sad. <laughs> the lyrics are literally about like, it uh, sounds like a loss or a breakup and losing someone and just saying like, why'd you let me let you go? You know, it's that feeling of regret, which is so bizarre because the song seems really happy, but the lyrics, complete opposite. Great song though. Loving the energy on this one. Look, look at all that smiling face and I'm loving this. Well, my. Every member is smiling. It cuts to every single person on that stage and they are wearing the biggest smile ever. I love this. I love this. The energy on this song is contagious. Look at that smile! Oh, attack his voice! I freaking love this! <laughs> Look at everybody! Everybody's feeling it! Everybody's smiling! The crowd, the band, everybody! I got rewind. The freaking hand over? Between Tommy and Strong solo <laughs> and right up to there was awesome. We got a, we got a freaking drum solo for Tommy and then a hand over to right up to on the fucking bass. I love this. This is so cool. The tongue out as well. Very like Rage Against the Machine. Oh, I love a bass solo so much. I 
right, I gotta say, I gotta say, this is this is amazing. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. This is so good. What was the um? What was the mouthpiece? What was the what was the mouthpiece? What was that? Can someone tell me? I don't know what that is. Like um, or or, or the microphone that the, the keyboardist was using. I don't know what that is. Can someone let me know? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm not sure. Either way, it sounded so cool. This is giving me like proper old school Rage Against the Machine vibes and that Tom Morello era, like that funk, that, that, that freaking awesome funk style of music. And now we got freaking Osama T- uh, Toru with the freaking guitar solo. Everyone has had a chance to shine on this. I love it so much. This must have been so cool to see. Like, I got tears in my eyes. Meanwhile, you just got Taka just lowering from the side. That crowd then, that crowd then, that crowd then, one more time, one more time, let's listen to that crowd one more time, sing it all the words. What a well-constructed, organized, and put-together song that that was. What an absolute vibe! What an absolute vibe, man! It's crazy how a song with such hard, deep, and meaningful lyrics, right? Quite sad. I've literally got tears in my eyes. Quite sad, right? In terms of the lyrics, fairly sad. It is, a, it, it, like, if you looked at this on a piece of paper, you would assume this is a sad song about a breakup and feeling regret after a breakup, right? That's what it feels like. If you just read the lyrics without hearing the song, that is what you would feel. However, after hearing the song, you cannot help but be completely tricked into thinking this song is gonna be this heavy emotional performance. Instead, it is a fun, freaking energetic vibe of, of just this is a piece of music. It's just so much fun. It was so much fun. Every member of the crowd, when it cut to them, had this biggest giant smile on their face. They were loving it. They were loving the energy. Everyone was dancing. Everyone was moving. And the the band was the same. Every single member was either dancing, rocking to the beat, or had this giant smile on their face. We even got them. We even got to see like light solo performances from every single member as well. Honestly, this is such an awesome song. <laughs> it's so good. It had everything. It had everything. It had some incredible freaking vocals from Taka. It had a couple of note breaks and voice breaks in there that I thought were amazing. Like, like really, really strong from Taka. And then he had so a lot of quiver notes on the chorus, which really, like, Taka always does very well, and it worked so nicely on this song. And then literally every single... Freaking member every part of this song. It, it, we, it had everything. It was the selection box of one OK Rock songs. From guitar solos, to drum solos, to bass solos, to keyboard solos, to Taka's incredible vo- vocals, to the energy, the dancing, the movements. That like, freaking awesome song, but with that devastating lyrics. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. <clears throat> I'm doing my best, but I feel like I'm failing. This was, this was brilliant. <laughs> this was so brilliant i'm super impressed i had no idea what this was gonna be like but i've just got this huge smile on my face now the energy of this song was so contagious it was impossible not to feel good listening to it it really it just really was i loved this so much this was such an awesome recommendation this is one of my favorite live performances from one k rock i've reacted to just based off the energy alone the chemistry 
between the members of 1AK Rock is so incredible to see as well. Like with Taka leaning on like uh, Toru there at the end when Toru was just like finish off the guitar solo and then leading into that verse. It was just like really sweet to see, you know? It wasn't like we're watching like a band perform. It was like watching a bunch of brothers perform, you know? It had that like really intricate and like, and like closeness, like chemistry, which I love. It makes you have like a little bit more love, you know? I love that. It was so, so brilliant. What an amazing performance. Thank you very much for recommending this one. I had a great time reacting to this. Let me know what other reactions you would love to see in the comment section down below. And do not worry, sometimes it might take me a couple of weeks to get back to our 1OK Rock reactions, but they're never going anywhere. We're going to keep reacting to them forever on this channel, so don't worry, they are never going anywhere. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Press the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Have yourself an amazing day! And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.